I think that the, the story is the king and, and that everything else is interpretive art around it, actors and directors and all the other things that go into it. So what makes a good Western is just a really good story. Uh, and that how, how well you tell it, of course, is really important and who plays in it, and if you cast it properly. I, I'm also a big proponent of casting a film properly, regardless of genre. If you cast it really well, you, uh, and people fit the parts, and it captures the imagination, I think uh, you're halfway there, or more than halfway there. Uh, the, the, then you can sort of stay out of the way. But it's, um, it's uh, I just, I just think a good story. I, I know I've had trouble finding stories over the years when I wanted to do a Western. And then when I got uh, Unforgiven uh, back in the early 90s, well, actually I bought it in 1980, but in, uh, I did it in 1992. Uh, it, um, it was just a unique uh, approach to it. It was different. Uh, and David Peoples, who wrote it, uh, did... Uh, just a splendid job, and I've never found one sense that, that appealed to me that would t take me to another level. And everybody says, why don't you do another Western? And, uh, like that. But it's, it's easier said than done because you don't have the material. And if people don't write an interesting uh, take on it, then it, uh, doesn't, it doesn't add up to anything except repeating yourself or imitating somebody else.